Hi, Miss Erica here at Monaco Public Library, and I'm just hanging out in my office. <laughs> and I have three books that I thought maybe you would like to know a little bit more about tonight. So I'm going to share with you a chapter book, a graphic novel, and a nonfiction. So my first question to you is, what if you were attacked by your own hair? <laughs> well, Franny K. Stein is a scientist who loves doing experiments, but she does not like being girly. So when her mom wants her to glam up a little bit, she thought, what can I do to make all this girly stuff a little bit more exciting? So she thinks, hmm, maybe I can try a little bit of experimenting with my hair. Let's just say there's a bad hair day involved. I'll give you a little sneak peek here. Whoa, pretty crazy, huh? So one of the things I liked about this book is that it has a lot of pictures, very easy, simple text, and short chapters. So it's a quick read. And I know that um, the MHLT library and Monaco Public Library have multiple copies of the books in this series. This just happens to be one that I've got available right now. It's called Bad Hair Day. So come to the library to check it out. Here is my graphic novel, Max and the Midnights by Lincoln Pierce. And I'm gonna just read a little bit of the intro page of this book because I think this one speaks for itself. So it says, Dear Reader, Miss Godfrey, here's my book report on Max and the Midnights. What? Nate, you were supposed to read a book about history. It is about history. It's set in the Middle Ages and it's chock full of great characters. So here's some of the characters. Max, who is an apprentice troubadour. The Midnights, a merry band of misfits. Mumblin, a retired wizard. Ghastly, a cruel king. And rawr, there's even a genuine dragon. This book has everything, action, adventures, thrills, and tons of hilarious jokes. That's not history, you idiot, that's fiction. Oh, and there's also an evil witch in the story. Sound like anybody you know? <laughs> it says Max and the Midnights is magical. So in this story, Max and his team of misfit friends are on a journey to rescue Max's uncle Budrick from the cruel king Ghastly. So they encounter lots of different situations along the way. They might have to fight some different people and um, encounter all sorts of different characters, even an evil witch, like they said. So I like this one because I think it's really funny for one thing, and it's got a lot of um, really simple, easy text as well. And even though it looks a little thick, I think being a graphic novel, it's probably a quick read. And it's kind of similar, it has the same kind of feel as like the Big Nate books. So if you like the Big Nate books, you'll probably really like this one. And I believe this is the first book in a series that will be coming out. This is a brand new book, so come to the library to check it out. And my last book is a nonfiction, and we're going to take it a little bit more serious now. So my question is, are there any of you out there who are really fascinated with blood and germs and all that kind of doctor stuff, and also have an interest in history? So this is kind of a cool book called Blood and Germs by Gail Jaro, and one of the things I really liked about this book is that it gives you a lot of real, actual, historic photos from the Civil War era, and it's got a lot of little sidebars with little interesting facts and tidbits that tell you a little bit more about the Civil War that maybe you wouldn't learn about in school or read about in your history book. Um, just little things that are fascinating and um, maybe less well known. And it's got um, interesting little kind of uh, timeline pages and um, sidebars about particular people during that time period and different objects. Um, like, look at those cool bullets. So a neat thing about this book is that you could either read the whole thing or if you had a particular interest in a certain 
person during this time frame or a certain um, incident within the Civil War or um, maybe you just want to read a little bit more about how, uh, let's see, what the women were like or how how they sanitized, what kind of deadly diseases. Maybe you want to know a little bit more about scurvy. Um, you can find lots of really easily accessible information in this book and my favorite part like I said is um, the pictures. Um, let me show you one of my favorite pictures from this book here. Uh, here it is. So isn't that just a beautiful picture? So sometimes even more can be beautiful. Although this book goes into a little bit more graphic um, kind of not so cool information about what happened during that war. So check this out at the library as well and uh, maybe you can learn a little bit more about blood and germs and their history with the Civil War. So that's all I've got for you tonight. Here are my three books again. We've got the Franny K. Stein series here at the library. Max and the Midnights, a new graphic novel and blood and germs about the Civil War. So stop on in and check us out. Bye!